Alright folks, it's Pitching Ace 88 and we are back playing Zuma Deluxe. This is actually a game that I previously played, the sequel, Zuma's Revenge. But I want to get back to play the original. Um, it's been a while. This game is pretty crazy, pretty fun, pretty challenging actually. Um, so let's get started. Um, Temple of Zuki, Zuku Khan. Do I dare enter the ancient ruins? That's perfect. So I'll teach you guys this all as we get along. I play this game. I played the other one. I beat Zuma's Revenge. So this shouldn't be too difficult for me. I'm hoping. Um, you're going to want to match these. And kind of... And as you can tell, I basically... <laughs> I beat that so quickly. Uh, I beat it in 12 seconds. So, I'm going to be doing these videos by stages. Um, this is stage one, obviously. Uh, if you guys could comment and like, I will sh I will let you guys kind of be showcased a little bit. I'll give you guys like little shout outs and stuff like I do in some of my other stuff. Okay, so, you want to get enough points. Once you get enough points, you get you get the guy to actually say Zuma, and that's when this green bar gets filled up. When that green bar gets filled up, you basically, there, there's no more balls to get thrown out. Um, if you don't fill up that bar, you're going to keep getting them. You're going to keep getting them. This little uh, thing shows you the pathway to which the balls are going to be um, being released. You want to try and normally get it to somewhere where, uh, where, the ball is, where you can kind of make combos. Sometimes you can uh, guess combos, sometimes you cannot. So, most of the times I try and get combos if I have time. Like here I see that combo right there. But sometimes I don't have it. So, I'll just try and go as quickly as possible. That arrow means that it goes backwards. So it does not go forwards. Fairly self-explanatory. The pause basically means it slows everything down. That's the that's an accuracy one. We'll see if I can uh, call it time for that, which I won't because let's go back. Once you get to 50,000 points, they will give you a new frog. You're given three lives to begin with. The frog that you obviously have, and then two more here. Once I get to 50,000, it'll give me another frog, and it will keep on continuing. You basically will you basically will lose this if you end up. Um, Ah, I missed that one. Oops, daisies. If the end reaches the skull. You reach the skull and crossbones, uh, no bueno for you. There we go. And I get the little extra bonus. Even though right now I've gotten Zumas, it really does not matter too much. Let that one go. I see the blue over there with the pause, but I'm really not concerned too much about the pause right now. It's not as big of a concern. You're going to see me get super frustrated um, once these levels get up, because right now you're only seeing four different colors. Um, you will eventually see, I believe, six different colors, if I remember correctly. Um, And once, once Zuma gets reached, you're going to, if you can, get rid of certain colors. Because um, then they'll stop coming. If there are no more colors on the screen, then you're good. Now, each level 5 will have them coming from two separate areas. What this kind of means is that you, you have to kind of pay attention to getting them both the top and the bottom. So you don't just go for the bottom ones. However, you also don't want to just go for... That was really nice, actually. And... Ooh! I was going to show you gap bonus. Oh, can I show you gap bonus? I cannot. It's unfortunate. So a gap bonus is when you basically have... Oh, this is perfect because it's going to go backwards a little bit. There's a gap bonus. 
So, it basically gives you more points. There's nothing any extra special about it other than basically giving you more points. The ones where they're coming from both directions, I do tend to have a little bit harder of a time with. Just because it's it's hard to kind of, for me to just guesstimate where exactly I'm going from. I did not see that. That was my bad. Okay, now you're going to see a whole bunch of me trying to get this done as quickly as possible. They are getting not really close, but close enough to where this is be going to become a little bit of a problem. Okay, that's going to help a lot for that row. Perfect. Backwards ball. Always try and get those. Those are basically the best. Um, the slow motion ones are pretty good as well. Accuracy one, I'm, to me, it doesn't really matter either way. I feel like I'm fairly comfortable with both. Um, this is the accuracy ball. So let's go through this. This one I'm definitely not getting any bonuses for. That's for darn sure. So now you can see that there's only a couple more blues, so I really want to get rid of the blues. If you right click on the mouse, it switches the ball to the one that, that's on his basically bum, it looks like. So right here we're going to get rid of the blues. So to me that's one of the biggest things you can do right there is basically get rid of the blues. Now you don't ever have to really worry about them. That little button there blows them up. Backwards ball is always one of my favorites to get rid of. At this point, we only have a couple more colors left, three more colors, which means that this should not be too difficult. And there we go. And I just hit 50,000, which is awesome. And this stage has been completed. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to comment and like down below, and I will be doing level two in the next part. It's been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.